sudden this weird story comes out with Otani and the interpreter, and it's changed so many times. Otani denies betting on baseball, saddened, shocked by the scandal, okay? Saddened, shocked by the scandal, categorically denies involvement in sports betting, asserting, I have never bet on baseball or any other sport. He may be right. Maybe he did through somebody else is what a lot of people are saying. And expresses profoundly dismay, stating, I'm very saddened and shocked that someone who I trust has done this. Otani refutes allegations made by his former interpreter, Ipe Mizuhara, labeling them as a complete lie and stresses, I never agreed to pay off this debt or make payments to the bookmakers, the scandal triggered by massive theft from Otani's bank account prompts a formal investigation by Major League Baseball with Otani affirming, I'm going to let my lawyers handle this from here on out and pledges full cooperation with the ongoing, ongoing inquiry. Tom. So there's a couple angles here. So you get this player and he has an interpreter. And th- the one thing that is not in dispute here, and there were people with the Angels that said that Mizuhara liked to play ta- liked to play tables, and he liked to do things. And so Mizuhara has a gambling issue. Mizuhara getting like eighty to hundred grand a year paid by the the Angels and then the Dodgers to be an interpreter. And by the way, there's a lot of interpreters in uh, Major League Baseball. There's there's Spanish interpreters. There's all kinds of them um, for uh, players that are not yet bilingual. Vinny had an interpreter in his uh, famous clip. Yep. Yep. And so. Mizuhara has a gambling issue. He's got a, a friendship that truly developed with Otani. And Mizuhara said, I asked him if he would pay off my, my marker. I, I it was several million dollars. Jeez. And, um, you know, like four, three and a half, four million dollars, I think the total number was. And so apparently, over a course of weeks, 500,000 at a time, which was the max for a wire transfer, which is also confirmed that that was the max went from uh, Otani's account to a bookmaker. So option one, Otani felt bad for his interpreter, who now he has a friendship with, and paid his gambling debt. By the way, that's happened before with a lot of people. <clears throat> However, in baseball, you're supposed to be like light years away from the gambling establishment. So there's option one. Option two, Ms. O'Hara and Otani were gambling together, and Otani was paying... For their bets. Oh. So option three is Otani said, hey, the guy got close to me and has paid off his gambling debts. It's a lie. So the one in the middle is missing. What we're having here is Mizuhara says, my friend paid off my debts. Otani is saying, no, I found out later that he got access to my account and he transferred it. The problem I have with Otani's story, Pat, is it was multiple transfers over three weeks. And and what is he gambling? On? Like I get it. So that... if you stole it from somebody, wouldn't you notice? Or the business manager say, "Hey, Otani, what'd you buy? You buy another Ferrari? Uh, no. Why? Yeah. Uh, Five hundred thousand just went out. Up oh, there it goes again. Five hundred thousand yeah. went yeah. out. Wait, it's three and a half now. You, are you making payments on a uh, uh, on on a, a Varun? No. Yeah. <laughs> so Otani is saying, nope. My lawyers will talk to Major League Baseball. I want nothing to do with this. I'm here to play ball. And this guy stole from me. Ms. O'Hara says, wait a minute. I'm just saying that I had a gambling problem and Otani paid my bets. And we're going to find out, hopefully, from Major League Baseball. However, Major League Baseball doesn't have the best track record. With gambling? Major League, no, no. Major League mm-hmm. Baseball is very good at protecting Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball frequently leaves players and owners out swinging in the wind when things happen and sometimes take steps that are kind of outside the lines. I mean, we've seen that happen. So I I think there's something that's really got to come out here. And my gut, Pat, my gut is that the Mizahara story is probably the one. Hey, man, you got to help me with my bets. We've been friends like eight years and everything. What? Oh, my gosh, this is expensive. Well, I'll transfer it for you. I can only do 500000 at a time. Got it. I pay it off. Yeah. What do you think? So, so you make, you make very uh, uh, good point. There's a couple weird things here when you look at, look at this. And I was looking at a bunch of different things and reading a bunch of different things. So Otani, first of all, says he doesn't speak English, but he does. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the interpreter is there, but he speaks English. So you got, Rob, you can Google this and say, does Otani speak English? Well, he actually does speak English. Choppy, but yes. Yeah. 
the interpreter says he went to UC Davis and got a degree there, but no, he never went to UC Davis to get a degree, the interpreter. That was fabricated, so it's not a true. Right here, there's a story from Sports Illustrated. Otani can't speak English, but he is more comfortable in his first language. Normally, he has his interpreter with him whenever he addresses a more American audience. However, during his acceptance speech for his MVP award last night, Otani surprised everyone and spoke in English. And by the way, that was two months ago when he said that, right? Next, uh, uh, these two have been friends since they were kids. Like, literally, they've been friends since they were kids. Mm -hmm. And Otani, strangely so, was at the March Madness game in 2019. That is five years ago, right? So why was Otani at March Madness game in 2019? Some are saying, well, you know, March Madness is all about gambling, and maybe he has this and he has that. Okay, no problem. That's totally fine. Last but not least, the, the way to look at it, Pete Rose reacted to this. Rob, do you have the clip of Pete Rose reacting to this? If you don't, let me send it to you. <clears throat> you should be able to find it on Twitter. If you just type, right, there, that's the one right there. Go ahead and play that clip. Watch this. Hey, guys, Matt Thrash here enjoying some March Madness with my great friend Pete Rose. And uh, we just had a, we were talking about the current goings on in baseball right now, and Pete wanted to mention something. Well, back in the 70s and 80s, I wish I'd have had an interpreter. I'd be scot free. He would have been there. You have it. So, from the hit you know, so here's, here's now where Major League Baseball is in a pickle, okay? Because you potentially have the modern day Babe Ruth. Closest thing we've ever had to Babe Ruth is Otani. Correct. Okay. The guy can pitch and win a Cy Young, and the guy can hit and potentially win a triple crown. Wow. This is a very weird type of an athlete once in a lifetime. So, guess who doesn't want to lose a guy like this? The Major League good. Baseball doesn't want to lose a guy like this. So if you investigate this and all of this stuff comes true that he did, what are you going to do then? Are you going to suspend him for a season and have the league lose him for a season? Maybe, maybe not. What did you do with the Houston Astros? Did you ever take the World Series away from no, them, Rob? No, really didn't. You never did, right? You what? punished two coaches and you let the owner go. And, and, and all the players. What do you mean knew. everybody? But they yeah. kept, and he knew, right? What, what did Aaron Judge say about that? What did Dodger players say about that? What was their reaction? Because Yankees were like, dude, that should be ours, 100%. right? 100%. The Dodgers could even argue that that should be ours, yep. and you know they were cheating. Nothing. They moved on. Now, power to the Astros. Respect to them. They came back and they won afterwards saying, no, we are really a good team. You got to salute and say, great, you proved yeah. your argument, whatever. A couple guys left, but, you know, for the most part, the little guy. Who, Altuve. Altuve. 100% cheater. Yeah, 100% cheater. cheater, but he won a couple. He won once cheating, and he won once yeah. not cheating. So it is what it is. So, but this could be a little bit tricky because if, if they know all of this stuff happened and everybody else knows and they do nothing to Otani, Otani may be the reason why Pete Rose ends up in the Hall of Fame. Oh, that'd be so great. That would be the weirdest <laughs> thing <laughs> on where the MLB has to sit there and say, hey, you're going to do this, but you're not going to put Pete Rose, the all-time uh, hits leader in the history of baseball that would always jump and slide in face first. You're yes. not going to put that guy in there? Okay, what's the difference? But there's a lot of weird things going on with this. I'm very curious to know how Manfred's going to handle this entire situation. Adam. Here's my biggest beef with the MLB. Like now, I, I do not even watch baseball at this point. I love basketball. That's what I watch. I watch, you know, some football. Maybe I'll watch the World Series. Growing up, dude, 86 Mets, forget about it. Okay. Then I grew up in Miami. Marlins, two World Series. New French, amazing. Since the steroids era, arguably dozens. And certainly top five players are not in the Hall of Fame. Pete Rose is a top ten player of all time, not in the Hall of Fame. Barry Bonds is a top five player all time, not in the Hall of Fame. Mark McGuire, what they did for the sport with Sammy Sosa during that home run race, what was that, 1998? Yeah. Ridiculous. Raphael Palmer. We had Roger Clemens here on the podcast. I don't think he's in the podcast. In- Hall of Fame. Hall- he's yeah. Is, he, is right. he not? No, he's not. No. Okay. These are the greatest players of our generation. They've signed our walls here, not in the Hall of Fame. Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame. So let's say he is found guilty of something. Mm -hmm. He he is arguably the Babe Ruth of this generation. Hitter, pitcher, beast. Now, this guy doesn't go in the Hall of Fame. Something's very weird with baseball. 
very freaking weird that the best players don't uh, end up in the Hall of Fame. All right, so there you have it, Tom. Final thoughts, baseball. I Anything. think we get, you got to let it play out, and this is the this is when sports gets dirty, which is incredibly disappointing. But we're going to let it play out. On a, on a good note, on the other side, Trevor Bauer is <laughs> is making progress. He had a game recently where he went up against the. Uh, uh, facing the uh, Yankees, obviously it's not Major League Baseball, but he was pitching 96, 98 mile an hour pitches, oh, wow. nasty slider, three scoreless innings, and uh, he's trying to prove a point that that listen, man, put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Mm-hmm. Pay me the minimum 720. Just give me a shot. And I know a couple teams. I know one specific team that would benefit from having a guy like this on their team. But we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen there with that. For those of you guys that watch the podcast regularly, and maybe you have hot tea like me with honey, or you drink your coffee to the coffee community, I'll most likely join you guys in five years. But at this point, I still don't need coffee. We have these new mugs. And by the way, this new mug that just came out is the PBD Podcast mug. Take we had future looks bright on it. So let me kind of show this to you, and I'll tell you what we're running on this podcast. And Kelly uh, took care of this. Let me pour this so I don't burn I'm myself. taking one. I'm, I'm acquiring uh, one of those after this. this here. So you pour the hot water in there if it's hot. Ooh, and guess what it turns into, by the way, while you're having this hot tea or the drink. Let me see if this thing is hot. Is it, it is hot? hot. All of a sudden, slowly... Uh? But surely, uh-huh. you see the color changes. I see it. To the PBD podcast colors. Oh, that's sick. And yes, you'll see the red and the blue of PBD podcast color coming in. I don't sick. know. If Pat, you're like one of those models not. on those late night, yeah. like by the uh, QVC. QVC back in the day. Yeah, you're, QVC, so, you're PBD QVC. <laughs> here's what we're doing. We got the value Tamen mug. You have two different op, four different options on whichever one you want to get, whether it's the gold, the black, the red, the OG, red or the black. You buy two. You get the third one for free. Pick and choose mm. which one you want. The link's going to be below. The discount code is going to be PBD Mugs, I believe. Right, Rob? PBD Mugs, plural. PBD M U G S. And what's the website to go to? VTMerch.com. Find the mugs, order two, and you'll get the third one for free. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.